Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of AMD Driver Crash! <laughs> uh, well, it isn't that bad this week. Um, on the end of, no end of November, uh, 22.11.2 2 came out for AMD, the drivers. Now they come on the back of um, the previous uh, drivers, which were actually quite good. There were still a few niggly issues, but they were quite good. So what we were looking at this time round was no crashes and certain improvements in whatever areas. I mean, some people think frame rates, frame rates, frame rates. Well, it's not all about frame rates. There's a lot of things. You could get a lot of frame, you get a high frame rate in a black and white game, but would you want to play it? Right, so yeah, so we're looking we're looking at image quality and uh, general performance, you know, and other things that were causing issues before. Now, just to set the scene, um, in previous generations of drivers, going back to April, we had lots of crashes in uh, in No Man's Sky and performance issues, a lot of jerking when leaving the atmosphere and coming back, and also crashes at that point. Um, Skyrim and Fallout and that always seem to be about the same but Fallout was running incredibly hot Fallout 4 that is and uh, so was Battletech so there was quite a few issues there that needed resolving you know re regarding power usage and things like that so anyhow that's what I've been looking at so let's let's dive into it shall we now um, I was playing the I played um, Fallout 4 uh, no Man's Sky and Battletech, them three games for this test. And uh, in the Battletech thing, because I know that's always a hot game, I turned on the uh, meet the metrics for it so I could see what was going on. You probably won't see it in the videos I'm showing you, but they were turned on for me and I could see them. So, but in Fallout Four, it was just like Skyrim, sixty frames per second, capped there. You won't see much performance increase there. No crashes whatsoever. It's always been fairly stable with Fallout 4 and uh, Skyrim though. But Fallout 4 did have the disadvantage of running incredibly hot. You're talking 100C. Um, but since the previous set of drivers has been released, and since um, I've now run in the native resolution, because I found it still runs hot if I drop it down to 1080p, that isn't a 1080p monitor, that's slightly bigger. So I now run it in native resolution. The temperatures drop down to Skyrim levels, about 70C. I don't know whether that's a driver or just the way the graphics card works with the game. But it isn't a hot game anymore when I'm running at that. Also, the frame rates didn't drop off either. The frame rates stayed relatively high, capped at 60 for the native resolution, which is a good thing. I think um, when I knocked it out of the native resolution, the frame rate just went vroom, straight to 160, which was probably causing it to run hot. So, yeah, it's a combination of game issues and driver issues or graphics card issues there. But native resolution, Fallout 4, 70C, good result. 1080p, Fallout 4, 160 frames per second, <laughs> you know, lots of problems. So anyhow, um, that was an improvement. No Man's Sky, now that's the one I always look for when I'm, when I'm looking for issues, looking for problems. Um, that's a standard 60 frames per second game too, they cap it at that. This is a 166 or 60 something hertz monitor and it'll run, the, the, the vertical refresh runs at that, right? So actually it should be silky smooth when, you know, the frame rate's 160 odd. But this isn't using 160 or this is using 60 hertz in these games. So it only caps it at 60 when you've got V-Sync turned on. So, yeah. So it's not taking advantage of my monitor. But, right, but it ran stable. I managed to leave the atmosphere smoothly. Just a slight glit as it kind of went from, from planet to space. Instead of like that <laughs> as it used to do before crashing. So that was an improvement. I summoned the anomaly, which is a space station you can summon that players can communicate on, because it's a single player game, but inside the anomaly, you can communicate with other single player game players. So I entered there. Now that was a bit more jerky than I remember. Um, you see, but there wasn't really an issue there. So that was a good result too. Now when we're talking about like um, battle tech. Oh, that's, that's a different story entirely because that game runs hot, hot, hot all the time. I think it's the Unity engine, I'm not sure, 
but it is a hot game. I do remember some games ran just as hot on Unity, and when they upgraded the Unity engine, that problem went away. So it could be Battletech's using the older version of the Unity engine, and that's why it runs hot. But when I did previous tests on that game, temperatures of about 110, right, which was what these graphics cards are, are, are rated to, highest level, were unusual. So it's in the same with the junction temperature. Um, today, I'm very, very happy to say that it was capped at 90 for the temperature and 100 for the junction temperature, which means it's 20 degrees cooler with these drivers. Performance is still pretty good, um, so there was no issues. Um, I would say as well that the performance across the board with um, all the games was exactly what it has been. It hasn't really improved. It's just the general power usage, how things are done. It's lit, it's more efficient, these drivers, basically. Um, there, there's not a crash issue. Recording wasn't a problem. There was no codex issue this time. It all seemed to work nice and smoothly. And um, as a consequence, the previous drivers have been left installed, you know, because they were fairly stable with just a few tiny issues. These are better than them. These are much better. 22.11.2, definitely, I think, if these aren't going to be the next set of our drivers, um, it will probably be the set after this. So we're getting very close to a Microsoft certified driver set here, which will be the new standard, which AMD then build on the next set of drivers from. Then we go for another six months of testing. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, 22.11.2, Good set of drivers worth worth installing less problems we've had all summer right so hopefully this is a sign of things to come and it's a good christmas present from amd as well in it so merry christmas amd and thank you and i'll see you guys in the next one